Well, hey folks, if you're like me, you're wondering if all the chatter about whether the Moscow Police Department has the experience to handle this case is on target or not. I thought I'd do a little simple math. Frankly, I think they are, and certainly they have the kind of bench backing them up to bring this case to a successful resolution. Sadly, some of these murders go unsolved, but I don't think this is gonna be one of them. But it's still a possibility. So let's examine the experience level of the investigators assigned to the Moscow murder investigation. Now I'm gonna pull out my little handy Profiling Evil Academy chalkboard, and we're gonna do some math surrounding the experiential levels of the investigators involved in this case. First, we're gonna start with the Moscow Police Department command staff. Now we already know, based on the chief's comments, that his command staff have more than 94 years of experience. Now, I wanna add Moscow PD's police department team. Th those just specifically assigned to this murder investigation. Now there were six detectives and five support staff assigned. That's a total of 77 more years of experience. Again, conservatively. Now I wanna add the roughly 60, 60 federal agents and profilers who've been assigned to this case, including, if I got the numbers right, that complement of about a dozen or so new agents. Now they together represent 420 years of experience. And let's not forget, there's 13 Idaho State Police investigators assigned to this case and another 15 uniformed troopers who are out in the community collecting information and trying to help Moscow, Idaho feel a little safer. That doesn't include the complement of forensic examiners that the Idaho State Police have also provided to this investigation. So together, they add at least 196 more years of policing experience. I, I mean, are you starting to catch a glimpse of the effort that police are putting into this investigation? In all, these personnel represent over 787 years of law enforcement experience, conservatively. That means it might be getting closer to a millennia, who knows? But regardless, some people continue to complain and take these senseless jabs at law enforcement. There you go, I don't know about you, but I find a lot of comfort in these kind of numbers. Now, I don't quite understand the attacks that are going on online, especially since many of them are coming from people that have never investigated a violent crime. I hope that we'll all take a moment and take this opportunity to sit back and watch things unfold with a little bit more patience while we're giving the police department the benefit of the doubt. Hey, thanks for your support of Profiling Evil and make sure that you're checking out my videos on this Moscow murder investigation. You can find them in the playlist or you can get them down below in the links. So thanks again and we'll see you all soon at the next crime scene.